in order to show evolution is true, we should find things in our body that are clearly badly designed. Since evolution is an unguided process, we would have to find traces of an unexperienced designer, and so bad design. In this case, let's not consider diseases and things that happen at later age. That's not part of the design, just like worn tires aren't part of the design of a car. In a body like ours, that is so full of inventions that work very well without maintenance, it is quite hard to find an example of bad design. Nevertheless, some scientists like Richard Dawkins pointed to something that is ridiculously badly designed. Our, our eyes. eyes. Let's take a look at how our eyes could have evolved according to evolution scientists. Oh, and eyes did not evolve once, but 50 to 100 times individually. In this case of bad design, however, is about our eyes. Here we go. First, there would be a light receptor. Then, that would become hollow, to make it possible to direct our eyes to something. That would improve through time. Then, some transparent body would form. A lens would form step by step, to keep on improving sight. And eventually, we would have a complete eye, with an iris and things like that. This scheme kind of explains 6 out of the more than 30 components of our eyes. And actually, we do find something close to this in the fossil record. Backwards, but okay. So, what exactly is bad about it? Well, every designer would know that it would be helpful to make the light receptors face toward the light. Makes sense, huh? With octopuses, that is the case. They don't see as well as we do, though. But anyway, evolution made a mistake. It is actually so badly designed that even evolution cannot really explain it. Because somewhere in the process, the light receptor got reversed. In order to get the nerves to the brain, we have a blind spot with the expanse of some of our eyesight. All because of the ridiculous reversed light receptors. But the worst thing is that we would be able to see much more if the backside of our nerves wouldn't be there to block the majority of our eyesight. Well, this isn't the full story. Actually, we have Müller cells. This is natural fiberglass that guides every photon, that's the light particle, to the tip of our light receptors. The Müller cells provide space for our nerves so that they can be in reverse without spilling any light. And this actually has a reason. Now the blood supply touches the tip of our nerves so that it works as a cooling device and so that the nerves can be repaired if they would be damaged. The other way around would also work but then the light would have to pass through the blood vessels which actually would spill a lot more light than this way. So let's compare our eyes to this nifty invention that actually is clever. Eyes resolution is comparable to 575 megapixel. Well, that is 7.5 megapixel for this camera. Eyes are self-cooling. The camera is not. Eyes are self-repairing. The camera is not. Eyes are self-cleaning. The camera is not. But let's just ignore that and laugh out loud. 